Mech cast is complete. Shadowhawk 2H. Flea. Blackjack. Uh, let's see. I have a 2D in storage. Um, let's send the general to storage. Let's send the fleet to storage and the blackjack immediately to storage. Hunting season part two. High orbit. Independence. I gotta admit, Smith, I underestimated you badly. If we're ever in conflict with not one another again, I won't send you my second stringers uh, to chew on. I'm going to come to, uh, come for you myself. That's an honor. What happened down there was just business, Bounty Hunter. There's no reason for any animosity between our companies. I'm glad you see it that way. Matter of fact, I've got a drop shuttle on the way to your location right now. I realized that your company got the short end of the stick in this situation, so I've got uh, so I've got a little peace offering for you. Some sort of consolidation prize for the losing sides. What is it? Some wreckage my crew pulled off from the distribution sites. Scrap heap. Bits and pieces, nothing major, but they tell me they'll never see any, uh, they've never seen anything like them before. I figured your pal Vitarian may want to take a look at uh, over what we found. I'll keep him occupied for a while, at the very least. How uncharacteristically generous of you. Is it just me, or does this uh, strike anyone else as really, really suspicious? Like, there must be a catch here level suspicions. There is no catch. Uh, it's a jumble of scrap. Too damaged to resell. Besides, I don't have the space for it. My crew has already scooped up as much exotic contraband as our dropship can carry. Look, do you want this crap or not? I'd rather see it go to a worthy mech warrior than stay in the hands of some ivory tower shit heel. But if you feel angsty, I guess I could just have my people toss it in a ditch. We'll take it. Good. I want us to part ways on decent terms. Never know who you're going to get paired up with on a future gig. Catch you further down the line, Commander. It's a small galaxy after all. The bounty hunter disconnects the line, leaving your view screen empty. What an asshole! <laughs> I mean, he gave us a crate of junk as a parting gift, but every damned word that came out of his mouth sounded like a, veil, a veiled threat. That junk came from the drop rough that makes it a potential lead. To command this right, there could be clues in that crate, evidence that will lead us to, when, uh, to wherever Dr. Bauman took the dop ref. It shouldn't have, uh, uh, I shouldn't have to remind you how important it is that we find that ship. You don't have to, Doc. Look, I'm suspicious of the bounty hunter's motives, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't mean I'm not excited. The scrap came from the dop ref, a ship we've already established to be a full, uh, full of sunshine and unicorns. L. I'd be surprised if my mech techs weren't sitting, uh, sifting through it already. Whatever answers there are in that crate, you'll get them, and I'll bring them up as soon as I can. Just try not to get your hopes up, okay? Don't worry about us, just focus on the task at hand. None of us are likely to forget the bounty hunter is a nightmare of a person. While we're waiting for the chief's report, we should probably complete a few contracts to keep the cash flow going. Ah, oh, we're gonna wait again. Ooh, rare items. Griffin part again. <laughs> I have so many Griffin parts, but a good PPC, a good AC2, two of them. Dragon parts, always love my dragon. You got to be shitting me. Another Griffin part. <laughs> Arg. <laughs> and a decent SRM4. So, do some contracts here for money. No. We are going to go somewhere else. Um, I want to go all the way up here. 23 days. Flashpoint expires in 9 days. Maybe not. Unwelcome guest. This lost tech items. How's Maverick? Oh, these guys again. <laughs> we are already super duper buddies. Um, but it would be a 30 day trip up and a 30 day trip down. And unless I know where we have to go, I'm not willing to go there. So. <sighs> Did 
This is still a 23 day trip. Uh -huh. uh. Well, there is nothing for us to do over here. Did I already go to the shop? Yes, we saw the Annihilator part in here. A hundred tons of awesome. Oh. It can mount a whole whopping two job jets. <laughs> okay, I have to decide to go somewhere. Last time we had to wait. Uh, we were over here and the contract popped up over here. So we are going to travel to here and see if we can do some decent work down here. Calculating course now, Commander. Also. Yeah, stop. Uh, let's go to the McBay. I have this Shadowhawk up and running. Hmm. And at some point, I should think about making a a quick team. A, a well, we need a team of medium max, a team of heavy max, and a team of assault max. So that would be three lancers, one to three, all the way over here. And then we can have some replacements for each one of them over here. Light max. I'm actually going to probably all of them dump them all down the drain. Even though the fire starter is amazing, a Vulcan is so much more amazing. Mm -hmm. However, you are a Shadowhawk. Let's take a quick look at you, what we can and cannot do with you. So, missiles on one side, cannons on the other side. And missiles in your head. And if we armor you up, hmm, not bad. Go down to like a hundred. Fifty. Fifty. Maximum armor and fifteen tons of equipment uh, put in a large laser let's put in the normal SRMs for now actually no two SRM force maybe SRM ammo and a gun what's your normal loadout SRM2, LRM, medium laser, AC5. Mm -hmm. Do I have a UAC5 yet? No. AC5++ plus plus. Yeah Confirm Discard it all Go into storage <laughs> I don't want you Now uh, I did however find some decent components over the time oh, I also have these Outrageous Infernos I think I just have to... Let's see, where is the onion? You are pretty decent. Let's refit you. Because... Put this one out. Where is he? Where is the UAC-10? Yes. Put this one in, please. 
And we have two tons. Wait, what? Oh yeah, uh, the UAC is 10 tons more heavier. <laughs> and we require more ammo. We can now shoot this gun eight times. We can now shoot this gun 12 times. <laughs> And laser wise. Do I have a special LRM fifteen? No, I do not. But I have even better SRM sixes. You do not really need an arm mod. I would like to improve these lasers, but I, as they are on the arms, I am hesitant to do so. Because arm weapons do fly off pretty fast, but this is good. This is really good. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Now, the Stalker. I'm pretty sure I have some decent PPCs around. I do. And uh, do I have some better LM20s? Nope. So, that was easy. You know when that's done. Now, Cataphract is one of my mains. Grasshopper. Well, I could improve the launch laser. I have them sitting around, so I should use them. Okay. I still have time for three days of work. Hmm. Marauder. Yes. Let's take a quick look at you again. Well, the AC-20 is a perfect sniping cannon, however, its range is limited. For everything further away, we are using the Snub PPC, however, this thing is only making tons and tons of heat. So maybe if I do something like, let's put a normal... Wow, there is pretty much the best medium laser out there just sitting in his arm standard medium lasers and if I want to get in close I am decently armored I should add some jump jets And now I still have two tons of equipment left. Okay, an alpha strike. This this will allow me to continuously shoot indefinitely. Oh, this is good. I could just max out the armor. 
I mean, the Snub PPC does 75 damage, which we are now losing, and we're replacing the PPC with 25 damage, so... I could put in two machine guns. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Because each one of these shots can hit the head, and if they do, they do a uh, point of damage. Let's try this. We are now jumpy, we can get in closer. We are heatsink optimal. And we can shoot continuously. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. And this fills up my work schedule, so move it. We're almost completely out of cash. Yes, I know we're almost out of cash. We will have to do any contracts at all at the place that we are arriving at. And we're off. Let's take a quick look at the store. What do you have? Nothing. <laughs> well, this one is always useful. New equipment available. This one's also pretty useful. New equipment available. I hope the contracts are so much better. Come on. Find me something juicy. Maybe something like another Clash of the Titans. That would be amazing. Ah, oh, there are some contracts. Lost supplies. Versus these guys. Okay, I'm pretty sure we are just absolutely going to piss off the Torians. But we will work for these guys. So, ambush, capture base, capture base. Oh, and we have this one, renegade. Yeah, we're not going to be friends. I'm sorry. <laughs> and we're going to do this for the money. Cash prize only. Uh, as this is an ambush convoy, we need to be fast. So, uh, where is he? Grasshopper is a go. Um, you. No centurion status slow. The dragon, no, not really. Uh, we will bring the archer. As a fire support, or the catapult? Hmm. Ah, the catapult. I haven't tested it yet, and eh, the archer is so much better. And we need something fast, something good. Medium laser, medium laser, SM4, SM10. Yeah, Shadow Arc. Now, let's see. Traveler, you are in the grasshopper. I am myself in the archer. No, beetle is in the archer. I am the shadowhawk and not you. Vision, you are in the Vulcan. 
actually know who you are in your Vulcan. Let's go. So grasshoppers are fast, as are Vulcans. Shadow hawks and archers are have a decent speed. However, because they are missile based, they can support us pretty well. And we are just going to do three or four cash money grab missions. As much we are going to grab as much money as we can. And then I hope that um, our engineer has deciphered the contents of the junk crate we just got. It's a bit annoying that I have to wait. And last time, uh, where I thought, oh, this will take a while, he said something about three months. Uh, it took about 10 days or something. And it completely ruined my plans. I actually wanted to do some flashpoints, and he just said, no! I'm done. You can go over here now. And I just went so ah. That's kind of stupid. Commander, we've reached the coordinates. We were right. Move into position. Intercept the sh shipment. And yeah. Classic mission. I understand. Just start running down this hill. So they should be... Yeah, they should be driving up this hill, so they are over here. And it should be eight units. However, these guys, we have two hunter killer bots, one for light and medium max and one for medium and heavy max. So this should be easy money. Blackjack, Shadowhawk. Ah, uh, let's reserve. Come at me. Let's reserve some more. Ah, these are so slow, these vehicles. Get a move on. Okay, maybe there are only two mechs with them. So start getting in there. Hit him. Good shot. Great shot. Uh, start peppering the Shadow Hawk. <laughs> yep, I would also be laughing. You jump into action. Engaging jump jets. And just continue unloading into him. Damage detected. And can you jump farther? You can jump farther. Kill. He's still standing. Ah, there's some mechs down there. Really? You are trying. Do you see how many pips he has? He can't be shot. He is unshootable. Um, I should split my fire. And 
this will all go to be. Let's just hope that one good missile, yeah, will just kill him immediately. Enemy mech, critical damage detected. Uh, quite literally, step on it. Bam! <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you do not have. Oh, you're a grasshopper. Mm. This will kill. Kill. It didn't kill! And. Wow. Seriously? Yet. So, Spitfire. We're just absolutely going to unload. There seem to be two more mechs within the escort. No clue what they're doing, but they are there. You there. Step on it. What the fuck are you doing? Shadowhawk, step on it. Engaging physical attack. There we go. Enemy unit destroyed. Just a quick assault. And there's the extraction point, but there are enemies in our way, so... Ooh, it's an enforcer! Okay. Are you the remaining guy? Ah, this is just such a disgusting amount of damage. Sandpaper him. <laughs> well, his armor is gone. Now let's add some missiles to the mix. And I'm pretty sure it's at 50% uh, of the supporting troops destroyed, so... Oh, maybe the supporting troops were two mechs and one of the mechs was part of the convoy. That could be a thing. Never mind, we got some money. So everything's fine. Ooh, 25% increased. Nice money. No damage, except for who, who we got hit in the head. And we got a Shadowhawk part out of it. Nice. 